hello everyone and thank you thank you for watching my video uh, you ever wonder where is the second slot to upgrade the memory RAM on your IBM ThinkPad T40 well I'm gonna show you how to get there and how to replace um, the memory um, first of all you have to know what kind of memory it uses and for those who doesn't know is um, DDR 266 megahertz um, I think it's 2100 and the maximum support for this machine the T40 it's 2 gigabytes so I went into Newegg and I got me two sticks of, of 1 gigabyte each and uh, for 60 bucks with shipping both if you go to fries I'll show you that I did my research. Each stick is $52.99. The brand is um, from. It's related to Patriot, but it's not Patriot. So if this is not. I mean, if the $52 stick is not Patriot, it's some uh, generic from Patriot. So I think this. This is gonna do good for me too. It's not a recognized brand either. So to get into the sticks, you gotta remove the battery. You gotta wear some SD protection. And I'm going to remove the first, it's the easiest to reach slot, it has uh, 256, and yes, it is PC 2100, then I'm going to open the new one. There you go. Now we put the cover back. <clears throat> and I want to apologize for my English. It's a little bit choppy. Not too tight. You can crack the ring there. Now, because in the back you can only find one slot, so I I myself was wondering where the hell is the other one? Where does the other? Because it mentioned when I went to the website to find the specifications, I was wondering myself where can I find the other slot? Because it talked about two slots and I only found this one. So I kind of, before researching, I went into looking for options and I removed the screws that are marked. To remove the keyboard so that's what you gotta do it's four screws only it just take like a minute Four screws only. Here you go. Now you pop out your computer. Screwdriver, flat head. You go into the metal frame of the keyboard and push it towards the screen and then pop it up very careful not to disconnect I mean it's easy to connect it back just a ribbon if you don't want it away 
then you find the second slot right here under the keyboard next to the processor and we open the other one And that's it. Put your keyboard back. It was easier to remove. You put it like this. Close it. So sometimes you, it's good to watch this kind of videos even if they're crappy or the English is not so good if we make a little bit of mistakes but um, it's cheaper than go to Geek Squad they want $250 to revive this dinosaur I mean which can still go for a while more for the things the people do but um, for $250 I'd rather buy a, a mini laptop so if you do your little research in YouTube, um, that's how it cost me. Like $59 with shipping and 10 minutes. So now we we got to see if it's going to work. This memory is from Newegg and it's a not recognized brand. And uh, I want you guys to know that this video is sponsored by nobody. So if you want to push the like so I can find a sponsor soon, I will thank you. I'll try to post more, more videos and uh, I'll try to improve my English a little bit more. Um, let's see if it's recognized by the operating system. Well, it's not much improvement, but the customer wanted the upgrade, and yeah, it is recognized two gigabytes of RAM. So uh, it has a Pentium M processor, which is the I think it's the slugs from the other processors from Intel, but they still sell it. Yeah, so 
that's it. I, I don't know. I hope you guys like it and you understand it. I hope it's for somebody helpful. Um, thank you. Uh, don't forget to check my other videos. Bye.